awesome. My uh, training's been going very well. Uh, I'm working a lot with my uh, striking coach, Tony Hardunk. Um, here at Dynamics, getting some more work in today. Um, feel good, man. I uh, like I said, I think on our previous interview, I was in shape uh, prior to taking the fight. Instead of like being complacent and trying to get in shape for the fight, I was already able to do you know MMA rounds before I even fought, which probably should have probably done that throughout my entire career. But you know, it's always uh, always after the fact, and it's being my last fight. I want to do it properly and feel good, ready to go. I'm a veteran. I've been at this for 11 years. I, and unfortunately, it's only been like the last year or so that I've actually listened to my body, um, trained a bit smarter instead of harder. Uh, you know, it used to just be put rounds in, put rounds in, more mat time, more mat time, and uh, it's more strategic now. And you know, I, I wish I would have, uh, I probably would have had another five years of longevity in my career if I would have uh, been smarter, but what they say, what they always say is it is what it is. I wish I would have been training with Anthony uh, before. Um, I've had good stand-up coaches. Uh, when I first moved to LA, I didn't have a real stand-up coach um, uh, and a mind uh, that that breaks it down properly. Uh, and Tony, he's he uh, can break it down, and that's uh, for a coach probably one of the most important things. Anyone can hold pads, and anyone can make make you work out hard. I mean, I could go to a heavy bag and, and do five fives hard on a heavy bag, and I'll get a great workout in. Uh, but someone who can break down, see your deficiencies, and build them to make those strengths. Uh, and with Anthony, that's what I've gotten. I mean, there's an end result no matter what. Um, but as far as this being the end of my career, um, you know, in a lot of ways, there's a, a, a sense of, uh, of calm, you know, uh, there's not as much, uh, nerves and there's not as much push. You know, I know that I have to put everything I have into this one moment, but as long as I put it all into this one moment, win or lose, win, uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll be content in myself. Whereas, you know, I don't have to worry about what's going to happen after, what if, you know, am I trying to, to build back to the UFC, am I trying to, you know, make this money or that money, or I'm trying to, you know, get this exposure. It's, uh, I, this, in this one moment, I can focus on this moment, I don't have to worry about the, the afterwards, I just have to focus on the moment, and in that, there's a, a sense of uh, calm. It, it's amazing, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, I've spent, 11, like I said, I've spent 11 years doing this, and uh, I've been, I've met a lot of great people, I've had a lot of, uh, crazy and amazing students uh, and uh, and also teammates and uh, you know people in the MMA community and uh, it's awesome that uh, I'm getting the support that I am been able to train with the people that I that I've trained with um, the doors have been open for me in every gym in, uh, in uh, you know in Southern California and, and actually elsewhere as well unfortunately because of my family and my schools it's uh, not possible to leave but it's been amazing I uh, if I could have had the support throughout the whole course of my uh, my career who knows when we talk about mixed martial arts and being a fighter, you have to look past being a fighter and being a martial artist. And a martial artist should never, uh, is always trying to expand and to learn more. And uh, just because I'm done fighting doesn't mean that I'm not going to keep trying to expand my knowledge. It doesn't mean I'm going to stop training with Antoni, uh, my wrestling coach, uh, uh, Andy and, and coach Sako, you know, I, and, and my the, all the jiu-jitsu players that I work with. I, there's a constant evolution and, uh, you know, I... I will most likely do other things too, kendo and screma and, and I want to be a martial artist for my entire life and just because I'm done with the fighting aspect of it doesn't mean I'm done being a martial artist. Now, I have what, 24, 25 pro bouts. Um, when, when the cage is closed and it's go time, it's go time. And uh, you know, it, like I said, I, I feel very calm and uh, I'm very, very confident. Not so much, uh, I'm not arrogant about it, I'm confident. I feel very, very good and uh, I hope Scott's ready. I don't know. Uh, I think if you talk to Scott, he absolutely doesn't think so, which is good. You know, he needs to have that confidence. Um, I, I know where I'm at. I know where I feel, um, and I, I hope that he's, uh, you know, improved as much as I have. I hope he's in the shape that I'm in. Uh, you know, it's going to be a good. It's I, Scott's tough, and I mean, there's a reason why he beat me. You know, and uh, maybe it's my own complacency, but regardless, in that moment, he beat me. So, you know, now it's time to redeem myself, and uh, that's all I plan to do.